Happy National Iowa Day, Crusaders. What's so special about Iowa? Well, actually, there's a lot to know about Iowa. Welcome to the Red and Gold Show. I'm Natalie Bullenbacher. I'm Brooklyn Drews. And I'm Adam Young. And we're bringing you news from the 007 studio. Please pray for all seniors participating in the third and final senior retreat for the year. Please also pray for the faculty and staff members who are leading and helping in any way. May they all grow closer to each other and God. Juniors and seniors will attend a presentation on the legal and ethical use of technology next week during Lent. Juniors will attend Monday while seniors will attend on Tuesday. Former IPD officer Steve Burke will discuss bullying, legal issues, criminal status, and real-life cases he investigated as part of the Cyber Crimes Unit. Burke has a local connection as he was the Cecina girls basketball coach from 2002 to 2012. Now to Natalie for today's clubs. The chess club will meet today after school in Mr. Yuvich's room. The archery club will meet tomorrow after school in the cafeteria. The rock band will also meet tomorrow after school in the music room. That's it for today's clubs. Now to Adam for more news. February is Black History Month. As part of our celebration, we'll share some of this day's Black History facts to honor this achievement of African Americans. On this day in Black History, Marcus Garvey was imprisoned for mail fraud in 1925. Born in Jamaica, this political leader took on leadership roles in the Pan-African and Black Nationalist movements. Garvey founded the Universal Negro Improvement Association, which encouraged African Americans to resettle in Africa. The association grew to include 700 branches in 38 states. Also on this day in 1986, figure skater Debbie Thomas became the first African American to win the women's singles at the U.S. Figure Skating Championship. A month later, Thomas went on to defeat East Germany's Katarina Witt in doing so. She became the first African American woman to win the women's World Figure Skating Championship. Finally, happy birthday to actor Gary Coleman, known for his role as Arnold from the sitcom Different Strokes. What you talking about? What you talking about? What you talking about? What you <laughs> Happy birthday also to Clay Thompson, who teamed up with Steph Curry and the Warriors as part of the Splash Brothers duo. Thompson has won four NBA championships. Please remember that your service hours are due at the end of the third quarter. That means you have a month left to complete them if you haven't already. More information is posted on campus. Now back to Natalie for today's sports. There are no sports events tonight. You may have noticed that the gym floor is being refinished this week. The senior refinishes the floor every year when there's a break in the basketball schedules. The work should be completed tomorrow and plenty of time for Saturday night's boys basketball game against Monrovia. It's alumni appreciation night, so expect to see many former Crusaders at the game to cheer on the team. Cecina will recognize Tim McGinley, a basketball star from the class of 1958, in a special way. Cecina is naming the floor Tim McGinley Court, and that will be visible on the floor when the work is completed. As a senior in 1958, McGinley served as a team captain, led the city in scoring, and was named to the Indiana All-Star team. He was also an outstanding scholar and president of the National Honor Society chapter at Cecina. McGinley went on to a successful basketball career at Purdue University before earning a master's degree from Harvard. He enjoyed a highly successful business career while also serving in many Catholic and civic initiatives. McGinley says three values helped him succeed, and he wants to help pass them on to current and future crusaders. These values are trust in the Lord, be grateful, and serve others. Cecina hopes you remember these values whenever you see the name on the refinished gym floor. That's it for today's sports. Now to Adam for more news. Alex Spencer and Liam Arner are some longtime gamers. Alex brought in his gaming PC and allowed Liam and some other students to challenge him in some friendly rounds of Guilty Gear. Let's check out some highlights.
So, Alex, how do you feel about your victory? Uh, I mean, I think it was pretty much in the bag. It's not a big surprise. I, I've been in the business for a long time, you know? How about you, Liam? How do you feel about the match? <laughs> He'll be fine. Wow, that looks pretty intense. It's probably pretty difficult to beat Alex at his own game. Now you can see the full episode on, on our YouTube channel. So check it out if you're interested in more game in action. Now check out our quote of the day. Stuka will sponsor a Valentine's Day kickoff on our annual canned food drive on Tuesday. Students and staff may bring $2 or two canned goods before school on Tuesday. Those who bring in money or cans will be able to dress out. Be sure to follow the Crazy Friday dress out rules. Stay tuned for more canned food drive info on Tuesday. Now it's easy for a look at our weather forecast. Thanks, Adam. We reached 51 degrees tonight and it will actually get even warmer overnight. Rain is expected this evening and overnight. Tomorrow it will climb to 60 degrees before the cold front moves in tomorrow evening. Rain should taper off tomorrow morning. It will be colder on Friday with a high around 40. Now back to Adam for more news. Thanks, Cece. It's really cold out this morning. Yeah, well, at least it's not like negative 20 degrees. Now let's see what we're having for lunch. Today we're having chicken tenders with green beans. Tomorrow it'll be a chicken penne with broccoli and a garlic knot. Please remember that all menu items are subject to change. Let's see who's celebrating a birthday. Bruh. Happy birthday. 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 Yoo-hoo. Oh yeah. Happy birthday. That's it for today's show. Stay classy. And give that a little extra.